Hi class, my name is Mohammed Prince. This is my week five discussion post. So an overview, I'm gonna uh, discuss the United Healthcare Workers West Union. Um, I'm gonna discuss the Janus decision. And I'm gonna discuss an article um, from Spectrum News about uh, 10 years after Act 10. So the United Healthcare Workers West, um, this union coordinates the position of um, the SEIU local union on issues that affect over 700,000 workers in California. The mission of the union is to increase economic fairness for working people, ensure high quality services, and create a well-funded, equitable, and proper prosperous California. Um, its members include frontline healthcare workers, patients, advocates, and healthcare consumers. So for the Janus decision, um, the U.S. Supreme Court decided in uh, favor of Janus on uh, June 27th, 2018 in a five to four decision. Um, this ruling affirmed public employees' First Amendment rights and determined government employees could not be forced to join a union and could not be required to pay those union fees. So for the article, I chose an article that um, discussed the impact of the Janus decision on public employee unions so far. So um, in this article, the main point was that public employees have brought sev several Janus related uh, challenges in California District Court concerning the impact of the decision on the, lawful, the lawfulness of maintenance of membership. Um, so while, while Janus is the law of the land currently, plaintiffs seeking reimbursement for uh, pre-Janus dues and fees for their union have thus far um, have no, have had no success in the courts. Um, and the plaintiffs are immediately appealing to the Ninth Circuit Court. Um, it appears the goal here is to push these cases up to the Supreme Court for review. So the news story I chose was a, a Spectrum news story. Um, it was titled, 10 years later, Wisconsinites are still divided over Act 10. So um, so former Governor Scott Walker's landmark dis, um, legislation required public employees to pay more for their pensions and health care and limited their ability to collectively bargain. Um, unions and several other organizations quickly organized protests um, in and around the Capitol in Madison that lasted for weeks. And while firefighters and police officers were exempt from the changes to the collective bargaining, um, many of them still joined the protesters um, and majority of the protesters were public school teachers who it greatly affected. So I just want to say thanks for watching my video.